I found that with depression, one of the most important things you could realize is that you're not alone. You're not the first to go through it. You're not gonna be the last to go through it. Hold on to that fundamental quality of faith. Life gives us these events because there's an area of our life that has to grow. If someone really wants to feel alive, they want joy, they want happiness, they want to feel a sense that life is meaningful and alive, what does it take? I tell you one word, progress. One of the things that's causing this funk that people are in is that we're living our lives in these very unfulfilling ways where you're going to this office with artificial light and you're doing something you don't want to do all day long and then you get home and you're tired and on top of that you're eating shit you're eating potato chips and you're drinking soda just go hike up to the top of a mountain and look out you know there's a reward that you get from that that is intensely like soul filling and you have a choice you can be a victim and you can let it break you or you can actually ask yourself, how can I leverage the pain? How can I leverage the darkness? So it grows me. So it makes me stronger. So it makes me wiser. So it allows me to tap into the greatest of virtues of humanity. It was so hard because people put me down. And I started believing that I was not good enough. I started believing that I was a failure. And the fear that we have is that we're going to be alone. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you gotta live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. You, you might not even wanna get out of bed in the morning. It might be that bad. Please remember this, crisis comes to serve the person who wants to use it as fuel. When things go wrong, they always seem to happen at once, and they just compound. And it's it's pretty easy sometimes to to feel beaten, but that doesn't mean give up. In fact, it means the opposite. It means it's time for you to fight harder, to dig in. It means it's time for you to go on the war path. Who you are today is no longer resourceful for who you're going to be, who you are to be next. For you to fulfill your greatest purpose here on this planet, in this lifetime, you have to have multiple deaths to immature versions of yourself so that you can be reborn as a stronger version of yourself. That's how the process goes. Who you are today might need to die for you to do what you need to do for the next phase. We are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable or scary or difficult. Our brains are designed to protect us from those things. And in order to change, in order to build a business, in order to be the best parent, the best spouse, to do all those things that you know you want to do with your life, with your work, with your dreams, you're going to have to do things that are difficult, uncertain, or scary. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up.